I couldn't tell, oh, there's the stream, you know, I mean, that was about as light a touch as you can do. Look at that, the water just split. Very nice. Using about a third of the throttle with that big prop. And now here I got a uh, Nitro Plains PBY that I'm going to check uh, out today. <laughs> nice. So we've had troubles with this airplane getting wet. Our friend Mike has one of these and said I haven't uh, done a lot. I, I put some epoxy along the bottom to try to make it more waterproof, but we'll see. I'll get it up around and back in. I'm going to put some paper towels inside and just see if there's any moisture that comes up. Now here's the electronics. Lots of wire in here that I, I probably should go in and shorten up all these leads and stuff. But for a first flight. Now the uh, push rods I've replaced with these nine rods, which are much stronger, much much better. We had a considerable amount of slop and friction in the other system, and and it uh, it led to some really not good elevator response. So now I think we'll have a good solid elevator response and uh, the airplane has plenty of power with these two motors and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Great in flight. Okay, I put a little weight in the nose. See if Oh, it's such a neat airplane. Bring it back, Ray. Okay. It's so light, you know? That's the thing. The high speed taxi is pretty cool. You gotta keep it on plane. Yeah, the little weight helps. Chasing a seagull. This is what it does so neat because now it's pretty honest with that weight. I was worried about stalling in here before, but now I'm not. Yep, well I think this airplane flies just about exactly the way I want it to. You know, it has just a few changes from what Mike's was. You know, I don't use the push rods that it came with. I use nine rods. They make the control system much more positive. But boy, what a fun little airplane. <laughs> 